Welcome back. So this lesson, I kind of just want to add one more thing. When I go and add a product and when I'm done, instead of showing the alert, I now want to kind of go back to the previous page. Pretty much meaning that when I go here, create a new project and press add, when the product is added, I just want to be redirected back to this page right here. So let's try and fix that part. It should be fairly simple. So step one is, of course, instead of going in here and subscribing and actually just showing an alert, I want to go back. So what I need is a few services that I can go and get from Angular to start doing this and start uh, moving different uh, between different routes. So what I'm going to show you is a small trick right here. First, what we need is a router. So I'll add the router right here, which is an Angular thing you can use, router, this guy. That's what I need. And I also need the current route. So I'll add another one here, private... Uh, current route, sorry, activated route, that's the name I was looking for, activated route, so I need that one as well, and there we'll add activated route, uh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to need these two to make this small trick work. And what I want to do is actually use these two guys together to say I want to go to the previous, not the currently, area but the previous area and I've seen a few people calling go back and stuff like that directly on the window but I want to show you how you can do it in Angular with using these commands. So I'm going to go down to the add product and this is where I kind of want to instead of doing the alert I want to say when you're done right here just redirect yourself back to the previous page. Now to do it what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the router that I just created a reference to. I'm going to say navigate where I want to go and here I'm actually going to put in uh, a curly bracket, like, or sorry, square brackets like this, like an array, and then I'm going to say dot dot front slash, like this. And that pretty much means that I want to navigate back from some position, one route back from a position. But where do I want to go, go back one route from? Well, I want to go back one route from the current route that I'm at right now. And you can actually do that by saying, I want to navigate back from the relative to, meaning I want to navigate back from the route I'm at right now, the activated route. So that's kind of what I'm doing right here. I'm saying whatever route you're in right now, I want to go back one step to the previous area where you were actually in. So let's try and see what happens right here. If I go back right now, whenever I add a product, I should be redirected back to the list. So let's try and click this guy, say a new product to, I'll even choose an image right here like this and I'll say add. Now when it's done, it should redirect me back one route and there we go. So it's just another way to redirect. There are other ways to do it, but this is pretty amazing because just think of it this way. Right now I've said I want to do it from the activated route, but you could start putting in some crazy informations right here on how you want to navigate using this router commands right here. And you could also start passing information between routes and stuff like that. So it opens up some possibilities and I just want to kind of show you guys some of the powers you get with the navigate uh, on the router and also the activated route. There's a lot more you could do, but this is kind of a simple way to kind of go back to the previous page. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.